Hey guys, it's Jimmo back here with another video where today I'm going to be doing another PC part in this video. And today I'm going to be showing you guys the best computer for $650 in uh, June 2019. So yeah, let's get into it. So, in my opinion, I think that if you want to build a really good budget build, you should go for a nice processor like a Ryzen 5 1600 which I have for this build. The 6 core processor will provide really good performance in games and uh, it will provide you know good stability in streaming, good stream quality and whatnot. The Ryzen 5 1600 is a few years old at this point but still it's still a great processor. It's first gen Ryzen, but it's pretty much the cheapest at this point because $150 for the uh, 2600 and six, 110 for the 1600. The performance is not a. It's not like a big difference in terms of performance. For the motherboard, I chose an ASRock Fatality B450 motherboard. It's a nice simple motherboard with nice VRM cores and whatnot. They're not it's not gonna be a, the highest end uh, or anything, it's not gonna be winning any awards anytime soon, but it's still a nice motherboard. It has four dim slots and uh, a few PCIe lines. For the RAM I chose a GL Gel, Gil, you know, that, that people say them differently. Gil, I'm just gonna say Gil. Gil Evo Speeder 16 gigabyte kit at 33,000 megahertz for 65 bucks. 65 bucks, you can't really get better than that. And it's uh, pretty much made for Ryzen. It has a simple heat spreader design, and it won't be. It'll it won't be like something flashy or whatnot. Um, just, you know, something to get the build done. Now for storage, I have two storage uh, devices. I've first up with an SSD, I put a 480 gigabyte SU655 from ADATA. It's a good cheap drive, and I think in the state of 2019, a 480GB SSD is pretty much essential. That's my opinion, you can argue with it, but that's what I think. So yeah. And then for the other storage device, I have a WD Caviar Blue 1TB hard drive. You know, it costs the same amount as the SSD, so yeah. I say either or, or both. In this build, I've actually got a really nice uh, graphics card, a GTX 1660 from Gigabyte. Now yes, I know Gigabyte isn't the best of companies, but at this price point, $210, $10 off of retail, I think it's a good card. Nothing really special, just a regular dual fan uh, shroud the cooler and yeah not for the case I went for this cooler monster master box MB 511 mid tower ATX case I think the red accents are nice but they could be most likely changed pretty easily you could you know, that's the monolith and then take them, change the color. But there are actually a few other options. There's a black option, a blue option, and a white option. But at the time being, the red option is the cheapest, so that's just what I put in the build. Now for the power supply. Another Cooler Master unit. A Cooler Master Master Weld 650 bronze power supply. It's a se semi-modular unit, and I think that's pretty essential for 2019 for good cable management. The 
cables are all black. The cables are black cables. And, uh, you know, pretty simple. I have one in my computer right now. Just the uh, 500 watt unit instead. It's a really quiet power supply, so I would assume the same with this unit. And the total comes out to $749.71. So yeah, I think that's going to be a pretty nice build for 2019. But yeah, guys, if you like this video, please like. Tell me how I can improve if you disliked it. And uh, a subscription would be nice. Thank you guys for watching, and goodbye.